Hi everyone, so here's the escape room on the water cycle. When you open this document, there's a digital link and the digital link brings you over to this Google quiz form, which is how you progress through each of the stages. So when you click next, here's level one, here's the riddle, and you need to enter the four digit code to move on. If you do not put the four digit code in the correct one, you will not be able to go to the next level and find the next riddle. So uh, let's talk about some of the things you have to do. So uh, as you get to level one, here were the questions. One, two, three, and four. And when you answer those questions correctly, you got these letter choices, B for question one, D for question two, C for question three, and A for question four. And that corresponded to these four digit codes. 3124. So how do you know that? So when you look here, B was number three. So let's go back and take a look. If you follow B around and you follow this line, you're going to realize B goes to number three. Okay. And A, C, and D all go to the premise. A goes to number four. Okay. And that's how you figured out the first riddle. So again, the code was 3124. And when I put that correctly in here, three, one, two, four, and hit next, it brings me to level two. And here's your next riddle to solve. So you go back and you answer the level two questions. Okay. One, two, three, and four. And they're going to give you letter answers. And now you have to do the code here. So if you got an A, and A is two, three, four, is Number three, B corresponds to number six. C corresponds zero to two. This must be a one, number one, and D corresponds to number eight. So the code was 6813. If you got these four letter choices correctly, correspond to 6813, and you put 6813 as your code, hit next, and you're at the next level, which is the dikes. So you answer the questions on level three. Okay. Four questions on level three. And that gives you the dice. And if you got A, it's six plus two is eight. B, three and one is four. C, five and four is nine. D, three and five. Uh, three and two is five. And so you get the choices five four nine eight okay where your codes so you put the codes in five four nine eight and you should be moving on to level four okay so for level four i'm not going to go through you understand you had to answer four more questions and the questions corresponded so how do they correspond well if you got an a for question one it was a seven if you got a b for question one it corresponds to the spade, which was a nine. If you got a C for question one is a diamond, which means it was number one. And if you get a D for question one, it was a club or a zero. For question two, a spade, if you got a spade, it was nine. A heart, seven. A diamond, one. And a uh, for letter D for question two, a club would have been worth zero. So these things changed each time you had to follow the chart question three, here's the new code and new numbers, and then for question four, the same thing. So if you did that all correctly, for level four, 0719, 0719, and it'll bring you to level five, okay? So these are getting progressively harder, these, these uh, riddles to solve, so you answer the four questions, and then how do you figure it out? Well, a is 3 plus 2 equals A. So 3 plus 2 equals 5. Therefore, A must equal 5. So if you got a letter choice A, the code was 5. For B, B was D plus 5. So we have to figure out what D is. Well, 3 plus 1 equals D. Therefore, D equals 4. And B equals D, which is 4, plus 5 equals 9. So B equals 9. Uh, 1 plus C equals 4, okay, and um, <laughs> 1 plus
1 plus c equals 4, well, what equals 1 plus what number equals 4? And the answer is 3. So therefore, c equals 3. So that's how you solve the letters. So if you got a, an A, a B, a C, or a D, that's how you figured out the numbers that corresponded to that. And so for level uh, 4, it was 0719. Put in 0719. It's next. Oh, wrong code. What did I get? Uh, let's see. I think that was level 5. 3954. Let's try that one. Yeah, sorry, that was level five, so my mistake. So 3954, put that in there. And then you see it says keep trying, so you know what happens when you get the wrong answer. And hit next. And that's it. We've made it. We've escaped the storm, and uh, we solved everything. That's how you know if you got it all right. Okay, hope you enjoy that. Fun activity.